you're doing. Kya kya ho raha hai. So I head Fashion Revolution India, and we're here today to open Fair Trade India Week and to mobilise more support, more support for a fair and more transparent fashion industry. The textile industry is the second largest polluter in the world, second to oil. There is a business model in place that can work for the, for the fashion industry and here we're here today to watch The True Cost of Fashion, which is a documentary made by Andrew Morgan, which is going to both inform our selected group of 50 people, various influencers and strategic board advisors that we're going to have on board for India to discuss the way forward. So, uh, what, ha what happened in 2013 in Bangladesh, there was a factory collapse, mm. one of the biggest industrial disasters in the world. 1,134 people died. Mm. We believe that's too much death on one day due to the fashion industry. It's not the first time it's happened, it's happened multiple times around the world and it continues to happen. In Ghaziabad, just 10 days ago I believe, 12 people died in a factory fire. We formed in 2013, we're three years young. Fashion Revolution. Fashion Revolution formed in 2013 and um, we are now in 92 countries around the world. We've created 800 events around the world. We're here this week joining hands with Fair Trade India and we're doing events Pan India. We've got screenings in Bangalore, Chennai and serious other, a, a series of other events to support a fair and transparent fashion industry. Okay, sir, what do you want to say about this initiative? Well, I think we, we all know that fashion is important to us. Um, we all depend on it heavily. But we also know that many of the fashion products are made in very subhuman conditions with, with, with inhuman wages being paid uh, to workers. So the interest of the worker must also be thought of in terms of the wages they get, in terms of the working conditions in which they work. But also what concerns me greatly is industrial pollution. That as we've seen, the whole of the Ganga has been polluted by polluting industries. Many rivers in India are polluted like that. And India, which is a country which has one of the highest population densities in the world, we cannot afford to keep polluting the air, land, water, because we have to live in the same place. And we have to learn to clean this up. And therefore, in this initiative, it's focusing on the fashion industry to say, clean up your act, we cannot pollute. We cannot treat people inhumanly. So, while we love fashion, let it be ethical fashion. Yeah. Any, any other Bollywood celebrity are uh, joining this course? They will be. I'm sure many more will be. Who's there? <laughs> oh, I I'm, not, I'm not here today to make lists of who is the most fashionable, who's the best designer nationally, internationally, or anything. All I know is that many big fashion brands make contracts with certain people to provide certain clothes. Those people then hire subcontractors who then hire sub people at sub-human wages in horrible conditions. And brands must take responsibility for the conditions in which their clothes are made. That's all we're saying. And I think... Um, I, I, I think I think now that fashion revolution has come to India, it's part the India is joining that global campaign and that putting its voice into that global sphere. Um, and we owe it to our future generations to be more responsible, to be more ethical. And I think we, as an individual, are very powerful. We have a choice. Where do we spend our money? What do we consume? What do we wear? What do we eat? They are all personal choices. And India is being looked at around the world as, as a big consumer these days. So if we start asking questions from brands that are coming into the country, who made my clothes? But you can't hoodwink us either, that we are part of a global campaign. So please tell us, just as you would as any other country, 
We want to know that people are being treated fairly, that the clothes on my back haven't been done from child labour, that there isn't blood-stained clothes behind what I've got. So the concept of, it's a bit like we used to have a concept of blood diamonds. Until we never asked the question, where do those diamonds come from? We never had that phrase, blood diamonds. It's the same with your clothes. I don't want to have clothes from a factory where a thousand people died just so I can be fashionable or have fast fashion. I'm wearing today something that's ethically, yeah, I'm wearing House of Milk. This is a brand that I represent that I'm an ambassador for because I believe in it. It's ethically sourced, it's in India, it's from India, and it's done well. So people can do it well. And I think I'm very proud to be a part of this campaign. I'm glad that we're joining the global campaign. And also this is today what's happening. This is a first step towards the summit that we're going to have next year, where we're going to get key players, not just from the fashion industry, but from the government, um, from key influencers. We're going to have them all together and we're going to start that conversation of what is actually happening in India and really start affecting change at a lobbying level, at grassroots level. So we're looking forward to that summit that's going to happen next year and by then the momentum will start and we'll know more about it. I want to say that there are many brands that do in fact make their clothes very ethically, yes. make their clothes in ways that are humane yeah. and ensure that the working conditions are good. We are only interested in targeting those people who are not doing that, who are responsible for tragedies like happened in Dhaka, who are the equivalent of blood diamond traders in the textile industry. Those are the people that we need to address and get them to change their ways of business. Many people are doing the right thing. Yeah, and it's not, I just want to say, it's, it's not anti-fashion. We this love is not fashion. an anti-fashion campaign. It's about <laughs> saying, come on guys, we can do better. People deserve better. We are all very human. We can do it better and let's get on that, on, on making other people's lives better. We don't have to be this greedy monster. And fashion industry being the second most polluting in the world is shocking. Um, I know that this documentary changed my life. True Cost is a really, it's a, it's a documentary that I would say to everybody, please watch. It really will open up your eyes. Um, and we're not anti-fashion, it's about doing better and getting better. It's not that. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come. Yes, we are tying up with various brands. At the moment, we have 1,000 brands that have come on board to create dialogue with us. 1,000 brands? 1,000 brands. Since we launched, we've had over 1,000 brands come on board and share information with us. They are listening. The consumer is asking. So we build the data that then the brand listens to. We are speaking to political leaders. We've held events in Parliament in London. We're speaking to more governments. We want to have that government here, that the dialogue here with our textiles minister and our leaders interstate. So, and we are we are forming alliances with various brand ambassadors. On the lead up to our summit, which is 24th of April, 2017, that marks the anniversary of the death of those 1,134 people that died. In so in honor in Dhaka. So in honor of those people, we have Fashion Revolution Day every year, and it's growing year on year. We may have a screening of um, True Cost at one of the fashion weeks. Um, everyone's pretty open to it. So like we said, we're not anti-fashion, it's just saying let's do better. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> no worries. No. This is not the time to talk about that. But I will say that the demonetization is कुछ लोगों को तकलीफ जरूर हुई है, लेकिन हम सब को ये तकलीफ झेलनी है, क्योंकि जो हो रहा है वो सब के भले के लिए हो रहा है। शुक्रिया।